Hello my Jovians! In this video we're going to be learning 10 different beauty uses of rice water. Please click the red subscribe button and the tiny little bell right next to it so that you don't miss any of my videos. So the other day I was talking to my mom about the beauty benefits of rice water and I was telling her how ancient Chinese and Japanese rice farmers used to use rice water all over their face and body and even their hair. In fact, an old Asian tribe, I think a Chinese tribe of women, they are known for their really really long hair that goes beyond their feet and they are shiny and thick and you know women over 90 have pure black hair and their only secret is rice water. And my mom was like, you know what? This this is what we used to take a bath in way back in the day like during my grandmother's time and I was like oh so if you'd like to know what these beauty benefits are keep on watching have you clicked that red subscribe button just underneath this video and if you have please click that bell icon as well rice water is very very rich in amino acids vitamins and a lot of minerals rice water has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties in a nutshell rice water is moisture Rising, brightening, calming and anti-aging. Which is why rice and rice water is a very popular ingredient still in Korean skincare. Now there are two different ways in which you can make rice water and for this I recommend you use organic rice so that there is not a lot of pesticides. Make sure that you give your rice a good rinse but don't wash it too much because then you'll be getting rid of the rice water which we need. Now to make rice water all you need is plain old rice. You can use any kind of rice. Brown, white, basmati, purple, green, yellow there are way too many rice soak it in some water keep it there for 30 minutes to one hour and then pour it into a jar and voila this is your rice water method number one and this is the diluted version of rice water now the second way to make rice water is to actually boil rice so what I do is basically every time I cook rice I don't throw away the water I just basically pour it into a jar or if you have a lot of rice noodles that water in which you cook your rice noodles don't throw it away, pour it into a jar and you've got rice water. Now if you boil your rice and you're storing that rice water which is this one as you can see it's a lot more cloudy and a lot more thicker so this is a lot more concentrated and if you want to use this you'll have to dilute it a little bit. This can stay in the fridge for up to one week and then you need to throw it out. You can even ferment your rice water and use fermented rice water for your hair which is way more beneficial for your hair and for that all you need to do is take this rice water and keep it out in the open for 20 24 hours until it kind of starts smelling a little pungent and then close it up and keep it in your fridge and you've got your fermented rice water. So now we know how to make rice water, how to store it. So let's get started with the beauty uses of rice water. Number one is to use rice water as a face toner. Rice water is really good to tone your face and balance your pH. It also gives you a small amount of sun protection but for this you have to remember to use diluted rice water otherwise it can be a little thick and sticky on your face. Number two, use it in your face mask. So you can use this rice water as the liquid ingredient in whatever face mask you're using. Even if it is store-bought face mask, you can mix in the rice water to make it even more beneficial for the skin brightening, anti-aging, calming and moisturizing properties that this thing is packed with. Number three, use it to minimize your pores. Pour it into your ice cube tray stick it in your freezer and now you've got rice water ice cubes. All you have to do now is pull out one of those ice cubes in the morning, in the night, whenever you feel like it and then rub it all across your face. It's gonna tighten your pores and bring a little bit of blood rush to your face, make your face glowy and happy and bright. This is amazing guys if you're going for an event or if you have something really important coming up and you don't really have the time to do a full on facial and your skin will be glowing. Rice water also gets rid of hyperpigmentation around your mouth, all these acne scars, your acne. Number four, use it to treat eczema, rashes or any other skin condition. Sometimes eczema or these skin flare-ups can be painful and really itchy. All you need is some chilled ice water. Just pour it right on top and leave it on. And as it dries, pour more right over it. It's instantly soothing and calming. Number five, to treat and soothe sunburn. With rice water, you can even mix up a little bit of aloe vera 
eye gel and that's gonna be like a potent mixture to calm and relieve the pain of sunburn and really help that healing process even faster by the way if you haven't watched my 10 beauty uses of aloe vera gel you need to click right here and watch it <laughs> Number six, use it as a hair rinse. You can use diluted rice water as a hair rinse after your shampooing and your conditioning. All you need to do is take this and pour it right over your head while still in the bathroom, obviously, and just towel dry your hair. And this is gonna give you soft, shiny manageable hair and it even delivers a little bit of sun protection to your hair use fermented rice water as a hair mask if you want to stimulate your hair growth or if you have problems with dandruff you can use the fermented rice water as a hair mask so basically pour it all over your scalp and your hair drench your hair and your scalp with rice water obviously it's gonna be dripping it's gonna be a little uncomfortable if you don't like the drippy effect guys you just have to mix it in with avocado or something like that or any other hair mask that you do use this as a mixing agent and then put it on your hair and it gives you instant relief from dandruff and it also stimulates hair growth so if you're looking to grow out your hair really fast do this fermented rice water can be used as a facial cleanser and a body cleanser you can substitute your face wash and your body wash with just rice water and make it even more effective by using fermented rice water now it can be a little smelly but the benefits are so high i remember guys my dad he's got spondylitis and arthritis and he went to an ayurvedic center for massage and pain relieving and all that and they made him take a bath in fermented rice water for a whole month and he had immense reduction in pain and his skin was all soft and smooth and he felt stronger just by taking bath in fermented rice water bath soak you can just use plain old rice water as a bath soak like in your bathtub instead of your rose water and lush you have a problem with these dark elbow patches and all of these suntan your hyperpigmentation all of it is gonna go if you do it every day and finally number 10 you can use diluted rice water as a face mist once again these ancient Chinese and Japanese women used to cover themselves with rice water as a sunscreen for sun protection so you can do the same carry around a small spray bottle of diluted rice water and you can keep misting your face to refresh yourself once in a while and also as a sun protection throughout the day and I want to know if you will start using rice water in your beauty regimen now, if you enjoyed this video please 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 support my channel by sharing this video with your friends your family your neighbors your cousins your teachers anyone share it on facebook whatsapp instagram wherever you want to share it ask them to subscribe to my channel as well i shall see you next wednesday with a very very interesting indian makeup versus Arabic makeup comparison. Thank you so much for watching. In case you've missed out any of my older videos on skincare or natural beauty or some fun hacks or anything, click down right here. That's all for this video. I'm so happy that you decided to join me today. I love you. Mwah.